Welcome to This is not a Blazer tutorial episode 2 and I'm your host Paul and today we're going to talk about I'm going to try to mimic this situation uh, uh, this graph that is made in JavaScript and we're going to do it and call it from Blazor and put it all in the other um, components that of the template and for starting i would like just to show where i got this this template is from this website creative team and it, this is one of the popular freebies and you could see here and you could go and see this is i like like i said it in the first video this i like this this uh, website uh, we can buy uh, some of these templates not very expensive they are with a very high quality and uh, this is what i choose just to make my blazer dashboard um, to do this, these graphs, I try to find using the Ensemble Blazor. I try to find uh, everything, all the Blazor uh, charts that we have it here, and none of them I like. I didn't like any of them. I'm sorry. It's a uh, uh, in this point. In this point, JavaScript is much uh, ahead from Blazor, of course, and then we're going to need to use some JavaScript here in our page. But how can we do that? We're going to do this in Blazor. Uh, right now, this, these graphs are going to do it in JavaScript. Uh, going to use the same JavaScript library that was already there, and we're going to see how we're going to can integrate this in our, in our code. Uh, let's start. First of all, this was the code that I left at the last last time, and to create that graph, it will be this this uh, this piece of code here, and it will be because of this ID that will be uh, inject the the chart. I am not a JavaScript uh, uh, guru or something like that. I, I almost don't know anything to do with JavaScript, but I found it that on this, uh, this page here, on the demo.js, on the top of it, here is gonna, we have this uh, daily, sh uh, daily sales chart. This I will look for the ID, and it's gonna create on this, on, on the, this place, the, um, the chart itself. It's okay. I understand this. I simply don't understand why it doesn't, when I run for the first time, it's, it's it created. I need to kind of refresh it. I usually, I do F12 to go to developer tools. It appears, but uh, it's not a problem right now for the, for the time being, it's not a problem. I, I hope that for the future, I'm going to have a better solution. If anyone knows, if you, anyone would like to do a PR on, the, on, the, on this project and make this part work, Great, uh, I will I will commit this the, that, that PR anyway. Okay, this part, this JavaScript is already being loaded in our Blazor. If you can see here in our host uh, uh, file, on the bottom here, we are already loading, if you're gonna see here the uh, demo.js. Uh, demo dot, dot we already have that. Uh, we basically we don't need to do anything else. We already have all these functions available for our for our blazer what do you want to need to do is just to hook this this part in in our in our component uh, but here we um we what we would like to have is the div that we're going to have this this all this part here all this this area here how can we do that well let's start to create here a, a parameter that will be a render parameter like we did it for the last ones too. Uh, last ones. Public render fragment and let's call chart. Get and set. I hope that today the, the, the sound is better. I hope, I really hope. I try to make it better today. And down here, we're gonna replace this code here for now and say that will be this dot oh, sorry not not like this it will be at this dot chart and with this in our code you just going need to have this guy in uh, in our code and what we have to do we just have now to go to our code and add another 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 element we're going to call chart uh, come on today is a little bit low to slow and here we're going to put the code that was initially here and this will be enough for that I'm going to put in all the others 
uh, here. The, the code itself will be a little bit different, of course. This now we're going to pick from from this guy here will be this one. Uh, come on, is this just what this? Where is it? Yeah, and I'll copy again to the last one. And let's put it the less is this one. With this, let's just learn. Let's run it. Run the project. Let's see how it goes. Okay. And now let's go to our page. And let's refresh the page. And now we're going to be able to see that uh, that's now my truck. I just opened the developer tools and close it. And they load correctly before they don't load. It's uh, probably I need to call something on the, on the JavaScript, but I don't know very well what. Like I said, if someone knows how to do that, can do a PR to this. But now we're going to have all the, the, the items that we need here uh, and use this nice graph that is was doing was uh, made uh, in javascript and this with this i we just can finish we finish all this 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 component we have all the elements that we needed to put the the the, the titles the description the footer and even the graphs even if the graphs for now are made in javascript uh, and the, the code is done in JavaScript. I will find a way to do it that we could, uh, let's go to the demo.js, even to put the labels and so I want to find a way to put it, this data from the, from the components that we can put it here, something that is going to call that. I don't know yet how to do it, but for sure, I'm going to find it and show to you. Uh, just to finish this, I'm just going to commit this. To my GitHub, I'm going to publish. I'm going to put the GitHub page on on the description. If someone want to to participate and then do some pull requests on this, um, to to help me, and I'm just going to delete here this guy. This was one of the graphs that I was trying to use. Let's see if I could make it something. No, I could not. It was not nice. <laughs> this didn't work as expected. And let's just make it sure that it runs now with small changes on the on the CS proj. To show sure, yes. Let's see. Now let's take a while to compile. Let's run. It's here. Our F12 and it's here. The the next we're gonna do all the, the bottom part. Let's you can see it as the two uh, boxes that we're going to put here on the bottom that will be for we're going to start to make that component next uh, let's just make the git the, the, the commit let's see um, here and we'll be git add all git commit minus, minus m it's uh, uh, card, what are we calling this component? I call it, what was the name? It was card chart, chart uh, with chart and git push, push initially to origin, origin, origin from the master. Some reason he asked me for the password. And now I'm going to push it to get up. And it goes. When I open here my Git, GitHub page, GitHub. And here 
you see that I this is the commit that I, we made it right now. Here I describe what I want to do with what I want to learn with this project, and this is what we want to achieve, and all the code here. And if you know how to do this part that the, the, that I explained that this these things appears right away, that would be very nice if you could help on the project because I'm not I don't know how to do this JavaScript. I will have to to go around and learn how to do this part. Uh, thank you very much. I see you next time.